well marked low pressure area lies over west central bay of bengal it is expected to move northwestwards towards north andhra pradesh and south odisha coast today however it will not cross this coast and it will change its direction from tomorrow and it will move north northeastwards towards west bengal and bangladesh coast it is expected to intensify further in the depression by tomorrow and it will cross west bengal bangladesh coast as a depression on 24th morning under its influence you can find the large scale convective clouds over west central bay of bengal and north bay of bengal and adjoining areas of andhra pradesh odisha west bengal and bangladesh we are expecting under its influence the rainfall activity over andhra pradesh coastal odisha west bengal and northeastern states light to moderate rainfall will occur at many places over andhra pradesh coastal odisha coastal areas of west bengal today the intensity will increase it will become rainfall at most places with heavy to very heavy falls at isolated places over coastal districts of west bengal coastal districts of north odisha and also the northeastern states the intensity will be maximum on 22nd over north coastal district odisha on 22nd and 23rd over gangetic west bengal and over northeastern states on 23rd and 24th as you can see we are expecting maximum rainfall activity over northeastern states on 23rd and 24th in addition to this heavy rainfall activity we are also expecting the strong winds becoming squally with a speed of 40 to 50 km per hour gust to 60 km per hour over the sea areas of west central bay of bengal and north bay of bengal today it will gradually increase becoming 45 km per hour to 55 km per hour gust to 65 km per hour from tomorrow and this high wind speed will continue on 22nd and 23rd and also up to forenoon of 24th over north bay of bengal as a result the sea condition over this area will be rough to very rough the fishermen therefore has been advised continuously not to venture into sea along the coastal areas the wind speed can be in the inland 30 to 40 km per hour and this type of wind speed along with the rainfall at a few places we can expect the damage to the standing crops we can expect the inundation in low lying areas or we can expect some kind of um, damage to the small trees or particles or crops